So what are the steps needed to implement a critical path method? We have just defined it and we need to address the steps needed to create and implement a CPM schedule. Those steps start with breaking down the project into activities. Those activities, and sometimes called tasks, uh, make up the project itself. We're going to be talking later on on what are the criteria used to create those activities. The second step is to determine the activities durations. And in this activity, we talk about a lot of things that has to do with the estimate of the duration of each activity and should we use hours or days or weeks as a unit of time. The third one is to define the logical relationships or we call them the interdependencies among activities. What activity depends on what? The fourth one is draw the network and perform the CPM calculations. Now in my seminars, many people say, we're not going to draw the network by hand. So why did I say draw the network and I keep the, that phrase, draw the network? Well, I never allow somebody to go and enter that information into the computer without first performing a small example by hand. I think it's very important to draw. When you draw the network yourself, even though it's a small network, 10, 15 activities, that's fine. But at least you get to the, the imagination of what project networks are. And perform the CPM calculations, we'll, which uh, we'll be addressing very soon. And then step number five, review and analyze the the schedule. That's a very important step. After that, you have a uh, ready to implement schedule and then you go implement it in uh, steps six and seven, implementing the schedule, monitor and update the schedule. And when this, the project is completed, then it's time to do the closing out. In the next video, we will be talking about the first step, which is breaking down the project into activities.